Hey there, and uh, today I was just going to make a quick video. Um, there are some questions about uh, performance on these type of uh, grass objects that we were creating. So I um, created uh, something to keep track of uh, how many are in the screen or how many are in the game. Uh, set the game at 60 frames per second so we can see when it degrades. Um, so let's go down to where there's a screen open. Um, we'll create the these clumps that are, are more of the, the skew type uh, drawing and uh, show source at 60. Um, I'm going to create 100 at a time. So at 500, around 500, we still get our 60. Um, 750, we're okay. 1000. Okay, so 1000 we're looking at, we're starting into deviate off of our 60 frames per second. Um, if you're going to use that many on a single map, you're probably going to wind up uh, thinking about maybe going down to your to 30 frames per second. So let's keep going. So now that we're at almost 1500, we're still in the 50s. Move up to 2000, we're around 40, so we would definitely have to move down to the down to the 30 frames per second. The other thing you're going to notice is, you know, you probably have to come up with some way to uh, color them a little bit differently, randomly color them, because uh, it winds up just being a big blob of mess. You know, maybe that's the effect you want, but uh, I mean, it's doable at 30, around 2000, and the big thing that you get consider is all the other stuff that you might have in your game, other characters, logic that have to run at the same time. Um, so that's stuff like consideration. So let's uh, 2000, let's see when we get it down to 30 and then we'll, we'll try the other one. So 2300, we're at 35, 2800, yeah we're, we're, yeah we're now compromising our 30 frames per second. And that's with really no no other game logic in there. Uh, yeah, so two thousand, you're looking thirty, you know, a thousand maybe. Uh, but if they're strategically placed, and I've seen them in kind of clumps in games, there's usually not that many that are that are going around. So it's, it's definitely doable. So let's switch over to uh, reset. Go down here a little bit. So we're back down to our fifty. Let's start uh, adding the, the grass. So this is, uh, I colored it a little bit better. Um, otherwise it was a little bit too bright for the screen. Um, so let's go a thousand. Don't expect anything. You know, honestly, this is a pretty neat effect. I, I really like it. Um, a thousand, we're not compromising our uh, 60 frames per second. So let's keep going. 1500 we're good. 2000. 2500. Get a good amount on the screen here. 3500 we're still hitting our 60 frames per second. All right, so 4000, somewhere in there, 35 to 4000. I mean, we're starting to we can pretty much maintain our 60, but if we're doing anything, it's it's going to dip dip it down a little bit there. As you can see, we're not sticking at our, our 60 like we'd want to. Um, I don't know that you would necessarily need this many this much grass on the screen at any one time. And this is this is just uh, grass has an animation, and then this doing this collision detection against the wind and the boy sprite. So let's see where we get down to our 45. And realistically, I, <laughs> there's not much difference once you start adding. So we're at 8,600. We're still at 50, 40, I would say 40 frames a second at 8,000. So let's see, we hit 10,000, we're at 35. Yeah, we would definitely 
need to be at 30 frames a second at that point. See when we get down to our 30, how many we have to have on the screen. Yeah, if they were 12,000, you're kind of pushing it. Thirteen thousand. Yeah, you're definitely pushing that twelve thousand. I know on a. I just have a, a laptop and no no special uh, video card. Um, maybe if you're in a better machine, it, it perform a little bit. But it does perform better. Um, so you would have have that. But uh, yeah, I just thought that this might be interesting to some of you to see the performance. Realistically, you're not going to have that many objects uh, that are just sitting on the screen doing nothing. Um, maybe, you know, you're looking at a lot of particles on the screen and that would be totally different um, because those would not be long, long lived. But uh, yeah, there you go. There's your performance. Uh, definitely the animated sprites is a... Uh, way to go if you're gonna if you're gonna have a lot of them otherwise the other one has good effect you just need to uh, use it uh, properly so until next time good luck on you